Hello guys, welcome to a brand new full playthrough episode of Sherlock Holmes The Awaken. I'm TJ, this is episode number 6. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I am feeling excellent. I'm feeling great today, so... The reason why is because the Warriors beat the Kings in 7. It was a really... The first half was a really close game, but the second half, the Warriors just slowly pulled away from the Kings. Mis Kings uh, took advantage of their mistakes of missed shots. Warriors grabbing a lot of rebounds, especially on offense, and and Curry had a magnificent game. He scored 50 points, which is the most points scored in a Game 7 in playoff history. And now they move; they're the last team to move into the second round of the playoffs. So this time they will be hosting the Los Angeles Lakers, and that's going to be an epic battle between Steph and LeBron, and we will see how that game turns out. Uh, the first game will be on this Hello, upcoming Hello, Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you. Your last tip proved extremely useful. Don't mention it, Cher. Champagne ain't one for trickery. Now, if you need more help... As it happens, we need to take a short trip through the bayou into the nearby swamp. Of course, course you'll receive fair compensation. compensation. So we're just it's doing a quick us. recap of no, what happened in the previous episode night. of this full playthrough. Come back tomorrow. Champagne will take you uh, there. We no, were able to... We must go now. It is of grave importance. I won't take you. But if you're crazy enough to go, I'll sell you the boat. Wouldn't you know it, I came across a bottle of your namesake. Will that be enough for a boat? It's warm. So we're... Dirty. Recapping what happened at the end of the oh, last episode, deal. we were able to find out right. what happened to Arneson uh, at his mansion. And there was a lot of creepy stuff that took place. Murder took place for two people, basically two housekeepers of of Arneson's estate got, was murdered by, which we concluded to be uh, Ashmat. And why were why he kidnapped Arneson? We don't know. Uh, but uh, we're here now. Uh, we're taking a boat through the bayou because that's where, based on the clues and the evidence that we've collected in Arneson's mansion, uh, it led everything to the bayou here in in, uh, in uh, Louisiana. In Afghanistan. And I had I could have sworn I turned off. Makes one yearn for rainy London. Turn off subtitles again. This place. Actually, maybe for the cutscenes only. But uh, you're gonna see in this uh, in this cutscene what happens next. Uh, Sheriff Grubb has been threatening the duo for their investigation. So we're gonna find we're gonna see if we can find Arneson or at least find any clues to his whereabouts. But first we gotta escape. Well, we already escaped from Sheriff Grubb, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna encounter further dangers across the swamp because I know the. The swamp of the, the bayou swamp. The bayou is just basically populated with a bunch of alligators and crocodiles or whatever they are. But this is the weird thing. Settle down, boys. Our friends are as good as gone. So, if you heard that in the background, there's some sort of weird moaning or what sounded like a horn or something. That, which caused uh, Sheriff Grubb to stop firing on Holmes and Watson. And so, we're going to make our way through and find a way actually let me see find a way to i guess we got to get to this cabin according to this picture so follow death miss so we, to avoid getting lost there are some clues here uh, that's what our um, errol arneson looks like and to reach your goal follow death messengers and pass through fire without fear after the bleeding willow chased the crows, avoid any crosses that appear. Lucy said that death messengers are white lilies. So we following the what do you call it? Following the death messengers, I guess we gotta find Holmes, some white lilies. Do you believe the sheriff? That we won't escape? One cannot be hurt by superstition. So I guess we keep going and going until we find some white lilies. Look, Holmes. Fireflies. 
these are the white lilies? No, I don't know where to go to next. Maybe right? Let's see. Looks like we're on the right path. I don't see anything crazy yet. You're rowing like a professional, Watson. You University of London Boat Club. Still a medalist, 1874. Are we going the right way? <laughs> what was that, Holmes? Whatever or whoever it was, we should ready ourselves. Okay, I don't like that sound, but I guess we'll be ready. Alright, so there's fire. The next clue is pass through fire without fear. Change when we reach the next clue. Am I hearing trumps? Trumps in the bio? Well, so the drums are part of the <laughs> the ambience and not the music itself. The score, I mean. That wheel got a match free. Holmes, I, I think I heard something swim underneath our boat. Probably just a rotten log. I guess we're at a checkpoint now. Let me see. All right, good. All right, let's keep on going. And I've heard that either this chapter or chapter 7 is pretty short, so this could be a two-chapter episode that, before we reach what the final see? chapter, chapter 8. So this is going to be considered the penultimate, the penultimate episode, before, uh, which the next episode will be the last episode of this full playthrough. Hard to tell if we're going the right way or if we're going in circles. If you told me when I binned your paper that we'd end up fleeing the law in a rowboat through the Louisiana Bayou. I dare say you would have hardly been surprised. Dude, how long is this section of the path? Okay, see more fire up ahead.
suffocating. The stench of death. All too familiar now. Well, Blair's getting a little quicker around here. What the hell was that? Sink in there than on our boat. Let's go. Okay, so that was a dead end. Oh, there we go. There's more. Hold on. Yikes. Good God, you gotta be kidding me. How am I supposed to get through this? Oh, can I? Let me go back, let me go back, let me go back, let me go back. I wonder if I can save on that dock. So we investigate the area. All right, good. So just in case we get, I don't know, we buy crocodiles or something. Is it crocodiles or alligators? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I got an achievement for that. Chase the crows, at least the crows are on that tree. And avoid any crosses that appear in the vents. Got that body. Okay, there's a cross there. Hopes, hopes. hand me the rifle. I can shoot the ropes holding a few of those poor souls. Watson, stay calm, but be quick. An alligator has noticed us. Oh, so we can go back to the main paths. That's nature, Watson. Let's try not to annoy them. Alright, so while they're facing on those bodies, we can progress uh, farther into the path. Thank <laughs> you. 
That pier looks promising over there, Watson. We're approaching the heart of darkness. You sound like a creepier than that. Uh, an achievement. We're on the right path. Good. This place gives me the shivers, despite the buggy night. Ashmat dragged Arneson here. Burning flesh, just horrific. A Keep away fiery from it. Focus gas on our tasks, and so we may soon leave all this behind. Let me see if we're doing some sort of ritual up here. Thankfully, it's not Arneson. This is not Arneson, just another unfortunate soul. Thankfully, Arneson isn't among the dead. The hand tied here was bleeding in four places. This had to have been Arneson. Both ends of the rope were cut cleanly. a lot of blood, but probably not enough to be fatal. The captive was dragged through hell. The victim's left hand clawed at the soil. The bloody handprint on this stone lacks four fingers. Sunken heels, the result of dragging a heavy body. The houses. The tracks lead behind the stone slab. Only this indentation was spared from blood.
blood was poured over someone, leaving a gruesome silhouette. A worn blade, but clean and without blood. Bowls filled with blood. prisoner's clothes tossed aside. The initials EA are embroidered with silk thread. The blood is dry. The axe has not been used for some time. A simple rope. The wood is swamp cypress, endemic to the area. This is how those poor people were crucified. A heavy weight scored impressions in the ground one inch deep. Days old and rotten. Damp and moldy hay. The prisoners were kept like animals, slowly deteriorating under the gruesome treatment. I think we got everything. Let's see what we did here. I can't tell, but this is, is he crowing his fingers or are they cut? Let's see what happens. It might have been from the freak accident he had back in the mansion. is definitely not involved in that in this second scene. So I want to say it's this. either this. Let's leave this one for long for now because Arneson only has a thumb. And last but not least, this.
so the first two are wrong. Okay, that's what happened. But this one should be artisan then. Arneson was held captive in this cage until his abductors tied him to a cross and dragged him to the bonfire. Arneson was left hanging here for a while before being freed and led to the altar. At the altar, Arneson's captors performed a ritual on him and poured blood over his head. With Arneson now prepared, he was escorted to the sealed entrance. They used the mechanism with an indentation to open the passage. My question is, where do we go from here? Where is... How do we get... How do we, where's the mechanism at? Hello there. Heavy and covered in blood. I won't wait for you. I'm going in. It's nothing, Holmes. I'll join you in a minute. I would have just waited. Whoa, 
that's human skin and still warm. Ah, what's happening? and not in a pleasant way. Oh, what a trick. Okay. Damn, I'll go through another maze of visions again. Is this reverse? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, uh, shoot, let me go back. So follow the hand to the left, right of the cage. Right of the cage, and then okay. All right, now I know where to go. Oh, but it's the other way around. Hold on, it's mirrored. Right hand. 
Left hand, okay, I know where to go. Missing on that last step. Go back. Good. All right. Let's see what the next section is. And now, Axis? What's on Earth for? to get hit by these things. Me. I hope that 
was all I can't take anymore. Yeah, let me get out of here. All right, are we home? At last, the lantern's working again. Holmes, I'm coming. Holmes, what are you doing, sitting in a place like this? How did you get here? How did you get through the maze? Tell me, Watson. What maze? I walked straight up to you. You saw me. Do not lie to me, John. How did you get out? Sherlock, what happened? Are you feeling all... Oh, heavens. Is that Arneson? Why didn't you mention him? Stay put. I must check if he is alive. I just need a second, John. I need to focus on Arneson. I need to focus on Arneson. All right, we're about that later on. Let's like, take a look to see if he's okay. The unknown, beckoning, great one, lightning. I should examine him before he has another seizure. Please tell me there are no wheels inside Arneson. Blunt trauma to the cranium, dilated pupils, lips moving without a sound. There's a the hands. fingers, the wounds are inflamed. Pulse is racing, 110 beats a minute. Cold sweat. Two, no, three ribs fractured. Arneson is delirious after all he's endured. We can't get him to the boat in a state like that. It's dangerous to us and him. <laughs> Alligators? <laughs> Not cool. This is Dwale, induces sleep and relaxation. Salvia Divinora, provokes visual hallucinations. So maybe some Dwale? A gluey decoction. The smell is herby but sharp. It appears burnt, judging by the color. Hard to tell what it says. The walls are spinning. Let me catch my breath. Man, those type of chains creep the hell out of me. <laughs> A 
Odorless, watery, and hard to identify. Pokeweed berries, though they appear harmless, the whole plant is lethal. Pharmacopia, listing drugs, effects, and directions for use. Well, this is going to be helpful. Some kind of Amanita mushroom. Extremely poisonous. It's Japanese. I can't decipher that text. The nightmares these poor souls had to endure. I wonder what this language is. for the storm abandon their meat abandon your flesh okay Oh, we got the book, so let's see here. Actually, let me see before I make a mistake. <laughs> so, Savia Divinorum. Probably stay away from that. Could hurt, oh, could hurt, could help, but let's see. Let's read this first. as a muscle relaxant. Can we use that as well? One drop for 80 pounds. I just gotta know how much harness and weighs.
An odorous and gluey brown substance. That's that might belong to the color brown, but let's see. It's pungent. Perhaps? There we go. Got the bookworm achievement. Identify all this, all the unknown substances. Ayahuasca. Mean and green as a local plant known as Yage. So we stay away from that. Dwell and snake venom. Soothe Arneson. <laughs> also missed the um, the chemistry uh, the chemistry equation you had to do on uh, I think it was in chapter one I believe. Yes, please go. I'll be right behind you with Arneson. Perhaps you can prepare the boat. Rejoice where he is coming. Daytime, thank God. Can I get? My, can't even get my gun. Without purpose, and now see the truth. 
Tear me mind from me flesh, score me festering soul. Phantoms of nothing, we are born to die, filled in the eyes of our eldritch lord. Free my festering soul and let me feel. Oh, please, I wish to return. Free me, let me return. Free me and rejoice. Eyes without no purpose, I now see the truth. Tear my mind from, from my flesh. Bones? Are you all right? Here, let me help. I'm fine. Holmes? Sherlock? What the hell were you doing? He almost killed you! I don't... You're right. Let's go, Watson. Still among the living. We are, though not for lack of trying by the sheriff. Well, he'd been telling people you died in the swamp despite his trying to save you. <laughs> Crooked man. Through and through. Wait, is that Mr. Arneson? Yes, but he's not well. Do you know Lucy? Belle from the Nymph? That I do. Please bring her here. Mr. Arneson needs to see a familiar face if he's to have any chance of surviving. Power of the heart. I get you. Wait here. Uh, Errol? Oh, Errol! Reckon we should give him space. Farewells are painful. No, 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 no. Tell me that's not true. Watson, Mr. Arneson has endured a lot. Lost four fingers, a lot of blood, and some of his sanity. But with rest and tender care, he ought to survive those injuries, both physical and mental. Thank you, Johnny. I'll take care of him. Thank you for bringing him home to me. We'll be all right. Are you quite certain? Do you have the space? The resources? I will stay with him at the mansion. It is not a burden to take care of your love. His property is in quite a state. It may not be the best place for recuperation. Hush now. Champagne will see it sorted. Then it's settled. Hear that, Errol? Us living under one roof. Careful what you wish for. Oh, and champagne? I'm about sick of watching that sheriff run riot through New Orleans. We ought to talk. Funny. I was just thinking that Grub did nothing to save your man. Together, I reckon you, me, and Arrow have the sway to make some changes around here. I like the sound of that. Holmes, our boat. Oh, we must make haste. Farewell all. Take care. All right, good. Still got some time left, and it's a good thing we saved Arneson and his <clears throat> six fingers. Who's there? Hmm. Who do you think? Let it be known that I'm handy with this revolver. Nonsense, Dr. Watson. As I understand it, when faced with the imperative to defend oneself, one's comrades, and one's nation, you fled. I... I... Aren't you going to introduce us, Sherlock? Watson, meet my brother Mycroft, the Queen's best boy. This is a grim augury indeed, for wherever Mycroft travels, tedium surely follows. In contrast, of course, to Sherlock, a man whose obsessive pursuit of the trivial tears through the most carefully laid plans like a hurricane. Do you have any idea what you have disrupted? Your ego is inflated as much as your waistband. What word comes to mind? You... you work for the government? International trade is a delicate beast. Your antics and Edelweiss have jeopardized one of the Crown's richest relationships. Oh dear. As rich as all the butter you've been slathering on your bread? We need your help. What? There is evil afoot. Strangeness and savagery like I have never seen. Something otherworldly festering in the dark beyond our reach. 
have seen things that defy explanation. Mystic forces, magic. You must help us. It's true. The British government does not invest its resources in the insane or intoxicated. Pull yourself together. I know men like you. Men like you grease palms, whisper in ears, start wars, and you send men like me to die in them. You. And the rest of your corpulent cronies. Ha! Corpulent! That was it. Interesting, Sherlock. But as you again drift away from sanity, you find yourself another John. All right, so the choice is made. I beg your pardon? There is only us. We cannot run from this problem. I shall take the book and Davis' cryptic message to Barnes. See what he makes of it. Hmm? Alright, we're gonna keep going. Well, I'm not gonna even end the episode because we still have a lot of time. So, oh, can I listen to me? As you were, Watson. Do what you must. the episode right at the end of this chapter. Let's see something real quick. Another sinking near Scotland. By the strand for the details. Cool. Thank you, sir. Shop's open. Let me talk with her. Dr. Watson, how nice to see you, despite the inclement weather. At least my flowers are enjoying the rainfall. Mr. Barnes is very sweet. We're getting engaged. He said he can provide for me and that I can stop working. But I have an idea. A combined bookshop and florist. Tell me that isn't a match made in heaven. Sounds like a good idea. Ah. Oh. Dr. Watson, life is indeed glorious. Not even rain can spoil my joy. Why don't you take a flower? On me. Ah, oh, Dr. Watson, life is indeed glorious. Not even rain can spoil my joy. Why don't you take a flower? On me. Charles Dickens, Poe, and Gogol. care of your master. For some reason, it makes my skin crawl. It has been a while, Barnes. Dr. Watson. Indeed it has, and good to see you as always. Uh, how can I help? 
Someone is full of pep. Oh, uh, yes. Mr. Holmes, he, he was quite the inspiration. Last time you were in town, he offered me some stirring advice, which I have since acted upon. Holmes is nothing if not provocative. Indeed, the thorny truth is often hard to hear. But it did the job, and now my heart is full. I'm glad to hear it. Much obliged, Doctor. Barnes, does Stevenson's guiding light mean anything to you? Uh, well, my mind first goes to Robert Louis Stevenson, an up-and-coming author. I've been following his work in the periodicals. Interesting man. I take it his literary pursuits are somewhat of a deviation from the family business. What makes you say that? He wrote a poem. Let me see if I have it still. Uh, yes. Say not of me that weakly I declined the labours of my sires, and fled the sea, the towers we founded, and the lamps we lit. Hmm. The labours of his sires. I wonder what they do. I have a book on great British families. If the Stevensons have achieved anything of note, they will be in there. Please, feel free to take a look. It should be on the shelves to the right. Much obliged. Last time we met, you mentioned your knack for translating occult texts. I was wondering if you could help me with this book. Certainly, I... Goodness. Where on earth did you procure this grimoire? That's a long story. What do you make of it? It seems to describe pagan rituals, ancient deities... Wow! What a marvel! I can try and translate it for you. Um, just the pages bearing that symbol. This section, really. Entity of ocean, or time. Oh, my. Oh, uh, already on it, as you can tell. <laughs> if you can have it done at your earliest convenience, that would be lovely. A moment, please. Spellbinding pages. Nearly done, Doctor. Have you found the book you're after? Okay, so let's see what we can investigate. Where are you at? Right here. Current, no? So, the exploration or philanthropy?
Lochaber. Lochaber. Lochaber? I don't know how to pronounce that. Say, do you possess coastal maps of Scotland? Indeed. Have you figured out what the Stevensons are known for? Feats of lighthouse engineering. You have my thanks for the book. My pleasure, Doctor. Do you need any particular part of the coast? Loch Harbour, west coast. Right then, I'll unroll it on the desk. All yours. In the meantime, I will attend to my translation. Much appreciated. The dreamer's hidden daughter awakens in the flood. That sounds ominous. Uh, coastal maps, here we go. Can I zoom in? No. Rubanangal Lighthouse. I never heard that from. I mean, it's pretty small. Arna Merchant Lighthouse. This one I've actually heard of. It's a famous uh, area right there. I think it's at Arna Merchant Point. Egyptian influences? Hmm. Made of granite and bearing a strikingly black lantern. 118 feet of the rocks. Okay. Doctor! Look what I just found. Barnes, have you finished with the book? Yes. I've written out a translation of the section you wanted. It, uh, puts the grim in grimoire. I thought as much. Long story short, it details macabre rituals, death, leviathans, and the apocalypse. See for yourself. I must ask you to leave the book with me so I can read more of it. It's compelling. Very compelling. You have been of great help, so, yes. Excellent. I could barely put it down. Farewell.
a fascinating book. Thank you for the opportunity, Doctor. If I can figure this out now. Wait, hold on. I can read. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Hmm. I know I see something. Here it is. A creature with the pitch black Egyptian sphinx. So this. See if uh, Holmes knows more. Mycroft, here to buy a book on fraternal dysfunction? The Holmes family is beyond counseling, Doctor. True, more deserving of scientific study. What do you want? I came to warn you. Perhaps you have a moment to. Sorry, I reserve Tuesday afternoons for time with friends. I'm worried about Sherlock. He's not well. You should know that he has had episodes in the past. Detachment from reality. He will need your support. Such gall. First you crush him under your boot heel, now you ask me to pick up the pieces. <clears throat> your emotions are impeding your rationality. He needs to be distracted, diverted into something less harmful. Surely you jest. Only one thing shall truly bring him peace of mind, and that is solving his case. The last case he pursued so doggedly was Cordona. He came home a wreck, and this time I fear he may not return at all. You are not his father, Mycroft. Not anymore. He is a grown man, a brilliant man. I know you care for him. I just wish you also respected him. The Crown cannot help you. But I can. Give him this. What is it? A confidential note tied to his case. He may see value in it. Just... Do not tell him it came from me. Oh. Speaking of the crown, perhaps you can help us with another matter? It requires some local knowledge. I'm all ears. For your eyes only. Here is a folder with all the details. What the hell? Really?
hell is this house? Maybe through here? Are you able to help? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Just back from a trip, Doctor. You look exhausted. Wasp's nest. They might attack if someone draws too close or are otherwise provoked. Much like London itself. Near perfect camouflage. It makes me wonder if Mycroft also spies on our suite in Baker Street. A map of possible routes taken from the embassy. I thought only Sherlock was capable of this kind of deduction. The spyglass was positioned to watch the windows of the embassy across the road. His face and neck are swollen, and I can see wasp stings all over the skin. Royal Berkshire Regiment, they had it tough in Afghanistan. Still Only his funny. right arm was functional. His left arm was paralyzed in the war. Unlike Holmes, I don't carry lock picks. Sour. The oldest letter was delivered three days ago. I'm not getting in here. Please let Mr. Holmes know that he may always read the latest strand at no cost. I'm sorry I have bad news. Please do not tell me Hawk is a turncoat. Worse, I have found him dead in his wheelchair, out in the garden. Hmm. 
How did he die? Exactly. He was stung repeatedly by wasps. His body succumbed to anaphylaxis. And that is all you observed? Was there anything suspicious? Well, there was one thing. In his notes I found a handwritten M, but it didn't match Hawke's other writing. Listen carefully, Doctor. Do not investigate further, do not talk about this matter to anyone, and do not ask questions. Thank you. Now leave it alone. I feel a bit strange, Doctor. Look, like I have a fever. Get the strand, get the true facts. You had a visitor earlier. He seemed angry. Is it my crop again? Um, am I mad? This painting wasn't here last time, was it?
Holmes. I have the translation. Barnes will keep researching. Holmes? Watson? Did you hear me? Barnes gave us a preliminary translation of the book. I think we have a lead. Sherlock, what is it? I find myself burdened. It will come as no surprise that I tend towards obsession. Indeed, obsession off grants me the insights that have become my stock in trade, but my greatest asset. Yet I cannot deny this nature proves as much a hindrance as a boon. It has cost me friends, colleagues, brothers. And despite my obsession, as I contend with the matter at hand, no closer to understanding than when we began, I... Well, I must conclude that I am of no worth at all. Without an answer, what use is the question? Sherlock, this is no time for despair. The book is real. Those men went mad. John, I fear that I am as mad as the rest of them. I bore witness to the same events that you did. I saw with my own eyes the inexplicable, the ghastly, and the unnatural. I can attest to their occurrence. So take heart, for it was as real as you or I. And thus, we must persist. Lives hang in the balance. If you cannot see your word, then trust in me, for I see it. And I know of no other man capable of putting this matter right. Thank you, John. Would that I possessed even half your courage. Pray tell, where does our journey end? Ardnamurkin, Scotland. Well, shall we be off? Yes, of course. You can apprise me of your actions while we pack. Alright, this is going to be the final chapter of the entire game. We'll end the episode once the introduction of this chapter is complete. And we'll talk more in the next episode about what's going to happen uh, with our full playthrough schedule regarding Star Wars Jedi Survivor. So let's wait first. And soon, I fear we will join those missing souls. These seas have taken too many, John. Let's stop them from taking more, then. So this is it, guys. I will see you in the next episode, which will conclude this entire full playthrough of Sherlock Holmes The Away again. See you guys for the exciting conclusion.